The angelic powers were at your tomb. The gods became as dead men. Mary stood by your grave, seeking your most pure body. You captured hell, not being tempted by it. You came to the virgin, granting life. O Lord, who rose from the dead, glory to you. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant victories to the Orthodox Christians, over their adversaries, and by virtue of thy cross, preserve thy habitation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having stranger in the world, you outwitted the divisor of evil, by your pretended foolishness, Hosanna, you received the grace from God, to foresee and foretell things to come, now as you have been translated from earth to heaven, you are numbered with the choirs of the angels. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, you Stop the us and his wife and sons, O Lord. Through the sufferings that received incorruptible grants from you, our God. For having your strength, they laid low their adversaries and shattered the powerless boldness of demons. Through their intercession, save our souls. The Prochimenon is in the seventh tone. Extol the Lord our God, worship at his footstool, for it is holy. Extol the Lord our God, worship at his footstool, for it is holy. Let the peoples tremble. Extol the Lord our God. Worship at his footstool, for it is holy. In the fourth tone, to the saints who are in his land, the Lord has shown the wonders of all his will in them. To the saints who are in his land, the Lord has shown the wonders of all His will in them. The reading is from the second epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, for it is the God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our mortal flesh. So then death is working in us, but life in you. 
And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke, we also believe and therefore we speak, knowing that he who raised up the Lord Jesus will also raise us up with Jesus and will present us with you. For all things are for our sakes, that grace, having spread through the many, may cause thanksgiving to abound in the glory of God. Brethren, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ, even we are believed in Christ Jesus, that we might be justified by faith in Christ, and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law no flesh shall be justified, but if, while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves are also found sinners, is Christ therefore a minister of sin? Certainly not, for if I build again those things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor, for I through the law died to the law that I might live to God. I have been crucified with Christ, it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me in the life which I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. The Alleluia is in the first tone. Remember thy congregation which thou hast purchased from the beginning. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. But God is our King before the ages. He has wrought salvation in the midst of the earth. Alleluia. and he delivered them out of all their tribulations. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, my God, glory to you. At that time, a lawyer Jesus a question, testing him and saying, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? They said to him, The son of David. He said to them, how then does David in the Spirit call him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, till I make your enemies your footstool. If David then calls him Lord, how is he his son? And no one was able to answer him a word, nor from that day on did anyone dare question him any more. At that time, Jesus called the people to himself. With his disciples also he said to them, Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, Assuredly I say to you, that there are some standing here who will not taste death till they see the kingdom of God present with power. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. When Christ God the giver of life raised all of the dead from the valleys of misery with his mind, On the human race, he is the Savior of all the resurrection.
Christ. Having lived a life of willing the angels, you were accounted worthy of glory on high. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. of ages. Amen. As thou was voluntarily raised up on the cross for our sake, grant mercy to those who are called by the name of Christ God. Make all orthodox Christians glad by thy power, granting them victories over their adversaries. By bestowing on them the invincible trophy, thy weapon of peace. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. How holy Trinity, mighty one in essence, kingdom undivided, origin of all good things, be graciously inclined also to me, a sinner. Establish me, give understanding to my heart, and purge away all my vileness. Enlighten my mind that I may glorify, sing praises, and adore you, and say, One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Answer me when I call, O God of my right. You have given me room when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. The light of your countenance I shine on us, O Lord. O men, how long shall my honor suffer shame? How long will you love in words and seek after lies? The light of your countenance has shone on us, O Lord. But know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. The light of your countenance has shone on us, O Lord. Be angry, but sin not. Commune with your own hearts on your beds and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. The light of your countenance I shine on us, O Lord. There are many who say, Oh, that we might see some good. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. The light of your countenance shall on us, O Lord. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and wine abound. The light of your countenance shall on us, O Lord. 
in peace, I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O oh Lord, make me dwell in safety. The light of your countenance I shall alas, O Lord. The light of your countenance has shone on us, O Lord. The light of your countenance has shone on us, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The light of your countenance has shone on us, O Oh, oh, oh. 